Hi everyone, welcome to the channel and a new video on the full transit flatbed truck. You would have seen in yesterday's video, we did the front brakes, some small body repairs and some various little bits and pieces of normal maintenance, getting all the sides to fall down and all of the locks and handles to work. They was a little bit seized up. Today, we are gonna move on to the big clean. It's actually nowhere near as bad as the first van we done. This has not been a tarmacker's van, so there's not tarmac everywhere. But as you can see, as usual, it is quite grubby and dirty, but nothing that we can't tackle. And we're hoping to get a lot of it done today. The floors, there's been a mat in here, but it does. We're gonna start off, get it hoovered out, and then just crack on and try and get it cleaned up. There's a lot of dust in here, so I should imagine it all will come up quite nice, even with just a little wipe over. We've got the driver's seat here, same problem as we had in the Sprinter, but not a Sprinter, Volkswagen Crafter. I have seen on eBay, there is a company selling brand new seat covers, any pattern for the transits, and they're about 30 pounds. So I'm gonna get one of them ordered up today, and hopefully that comes in by tomorrow. So we won't bother cleaning up this base, which is the worst one, because we're gonna get a new cover for it. Like I said, it's nowhere near as bad. The wheels do want a good clean and the outside's gonna want a good clean and a polish. But we're gonna crack on first off and get these seats removed and then get in here and start cleaning it. Quite quick to get that out, just four star drives from my side and the occupancy sensor or air seat airbag maybe if it's got one there plugged in. I think it's just occupancy sensor. And that one comes straight out. It was a bit more difficult around Chris's side because we're trying to get that black mat out. That seat box doesn't need to come out because the, the black mat only comes up to the edge of it. On the other side, it actually goes underneath the kick plate and underneath that big seat box. So he's had to remove all of that. You can see it there. So we're just gonna grab the Uber out and get rid of all of this light, light stuff that's in here because once we pull it out, we don't want it just going everywhere. We have got a bit of time-lapse on up there and we've got it stuck up the best we can. So fingers crossed that does come out okay as well. So made quite light work of that. I stripped off both of the door panels. It made so much sense to take them off. We can whip the switches out of them and give them a clean. They're there now. And uh, I think that they're gonna come up pretty nice. Like I said, they're nowhere near as bad as the others. Getting a bit sidetracked there. We've stripped out as much as we want to strip out of the cab area now. That's We don't wanna take any more out of this cab at all. So we're actually going to start the process of cleaning up inside here and getting this pretty nice. We need to wipe all that headlining down, the roof lining, because it's quite dirty. We've removed all the sun visors. We're going to be cleaning all this up, just cracking on in general and getting the inside of this into a nice condition. And then as soon as that's done, while that's drying, we'll move on to the interior. I did say about that seat, we have ordered that base and it was... 30 pounds 29.99 and it is exactly the same so that's really going to save us a few pounds as well getting that done enough waffle let's crack on try and get this all cleaned out inside
quite a long bit of time lapse there, but like I said at the start of the video, we really did want to get cracking, get as much done as we can and hopefully try and complete this. So if you look now, all around the inside of that door, all in this rubber up there in particular was terrible and it was even worse on the other side. But they're now all clean, all the shuts are all clean. Even though those steps, you can't see what's underneath them, but as soon as we lifted them out, it's like, it, it's over an inch thick in the bottom there of dust. And eventually that is what causes it to rot out. It gets a bit wet and it just keeps rotting out. So they're all now clean. We've done all inside the dashboard, all the floors all done. It is a shame that's got a little wear hole in that there, but it has all come up really, really nice. I'm just gonna walk around the other side Sorry, Chris. So around the other side, you can see that's all come up quite nice as well. I've yet to rinse out this doorstep to get the rest of that out of there, but I'll do that in a moment. But I am just gonna hold that camera up there at roof lining, and I'm gonna include a before picture now. And just look at the difference quick wipe over with some G101 on a sponge and then we went over it after with a little bit of a brush and it come up lovely. Even though all this here you don't see it, it was all covered in dust and grime so we just decided we're going to give that a really good clean as well and get that all up nice. So I'm just going to finish off the inside of that door and that step and then we're going to be moving on. We're done on the inside. We've got to black it all up and put it back together but we are now moving on. Chris has laid everything out on the back of the bed of the truck and he's just sprayed them up, letting it all soak in and just going through, giving them all a clean now. We've got the A-post covers, sun visors, cup holders. You can pretty much see the floor mat there and the steps as well. So as soon as they're done, we can let them dry and start the process of getting all them back in. Not a bad day's work there, not a bad day's work at all. I think I was a bit optimistic this morning when I said, let's try and get it all done. That was never gonna happen, but we did get a lot done. We've just cracked on, got stuck in all day. Look at the difference in that door panel. And that was nowhere near as bad as the other one. We used a bit of G101 on them and give them a wipe off. I did remove them all as you would have seen and then put them all back together. Cleaned all the handles up and the switches but it's just around the edges of the doors. I love it when you open a car door and it's all nice and clean like that, all the way around. It really does make a big difference. Show that bit of plastic stuff's wearing away there. Could do with a new sticker on it. But we've got all that back in there. It's all cleaned out, everything. We took it all apart in there. We've started piecing it back together. And the dashboard and steering, I mean, look at the difference. I've just give the glass a quick going over as well on the inside because we've been working in there all day. And we started using that AutoSmart glass cleaner, which is quite good as you can see. So I will link obviously everything in the description as usual, but let us know in the comment section, what do you think about that? What a difference, how, how just one day's work, what a difference that has made. I say it would have been nice to get it all done, but there was just no chance. We've both been on it all day. The other door panel there, you can see it has got quite a few boot marks on it, scratches, but there's nothing we can do about that. The seats, you would have seen on a bit of time lapse, Chris cleaned them the same way we always do. They've been jet washed. I'm now gonna chuck these in the back of my van, take them home and put them in front of the radiator all night. And that will pretty much force them dry. The driver's seat, we've removed the foam and the base because we're just waiting for that new one to arrive. And then Chris cleaned up all the backing of it so really i suppose in the next video we're going to get on and do the outside of this truck we're going to get the outside of it looking as good as we can and finish off 
making that bed look as nice as we can. We'll chuck the seats in and that should be it. So please do let us know what you think in the comment section down below. So I know it's not a nice long one and I know most of you do like them 15, 20 minute videos, but it's actually about half past three now and we're running out of light already. It's just starting to go dusk. You just get such little light hours. And when we're working on these bigger vehicles like the vans and the trucks, it's quite hard to get them inside. So, and you can't see a great deal when it does get dark with the lights on anyway. So we've done as much as we can today and I'm happy with how much we got done. That was very optimistic thinking that we, I'd completely forgot that we had to wash the seats as well. And it does all take time as much as you think, yeah, I'll definitely be able to do it. It's, it never happens. So I'm not going to waffle on too much. I did, I know there's quite a bit of time lapse as well, but we did have to crack on and we did have to get it done. I did put it out in last night's video, the price that we was going to be asking for it. And already I've received three or four different phone numbers through Instagram of people that are very, very interested in this truck because it is so reasonably priced. So we'd like to get it done and get it out the door. It's another one gone. So I'm getting carried away, guys, and I'm starting a life story. So we will end it there. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram for those little sneak peeks throughout the day at Selvage Rebuilds. Check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. And please do drop us a comment. And if you enjoy it, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it, and it shows your appreciation. Like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you later in the week for the next one.